The 2023 Audi Q3 looks like a scaled-down Q8, and what you see is a good indication of what you get. The Littler Q offers all the hallmark traits of its larger Audi siblings, it's attractive, modern, classy, and well-built in a compact package. All-wheel drive is standard and every Q3 is powered by a turbocharged four-cylinder, the base 40 model gets a 184 horsepower mill while the higher spec 45 is motivated by 228 horses. Handling is nimble and performance is decent at least with the more powerful engine. The Q3's cabin isn't as spacious or as practical as the BMW X1's. And compared to the car-like Mercedes-Benz GLA class, one of the Q3's other serious rivals, the little Audi looks and feels more like an SUV. An SUV-ness is what you buy an SUV for, right? Like those two competitors, the Q3 offers many contemporary technology features, including a digital gauge display, touchscreen infotainment, and a host of driver assists. But the best news is that the Q3 feels and drives like you'd expect an Audi to. All Q3 models receive standard LED headlamps for the 2023 model year. The optional wireless smartphone charging pad has been redesigned but remains in its usual location on the center console. Three new wheel designs spruce up the Q3's exterior, and the black optic package is now available on the Premium 40 model. Although it's the most expensive model, the Premium Plus trim still represents the best buy in the Q3 lineup. Its relatively affordable price tag equips it with many desirable features, including a wireless smartphone charging pad, blind spot monitoring, passive entry with push-button start, and adaptive cruise control. We'd also suggest the aforementioned technology package, which unlocks the coolest tech features Audi has to offer. We'd also choose the more powerful 45 model. Engine, Transmission, and Performance the Q3 is powered by a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that makes either 184 or 228 horsepower, either way it comes standard with an 8-speed automatic transmission and quattro all-wheel drive. In our time behind the wheel of a Q3 with the more potent of the two engines, we noted that the engine provided ample power, but our test vehicle wasn't as quick as some rivals, and we noticed a delay between our right foot's action and the engine's response. Still, its transmission shifted smoothly during normal operation and provided sportier reactions when shifted into S-mode. Thankfully, its suspension damped out all but the harshest road imperfections. Direct steering with a light-to-the-touch feel gives the Q3 a sense of agility. The little SUV also moves with the same grace as its larger siblings when pitched down a twisty section of road. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo the Q3's cabin addresses all of our complaints about that of the outgoing model, with a much improved driving position, a user-friendly layout of its controls, and finer materials. Its standout standard features include a panoramic sunroof, leather upholstery, heated front seats with 8-way power adjustments and lumbar support for the driver. More luxurious options include ambient interior lighting, a fully digital gauge cluster, and contrasting microsuede on the dashboard and doors. The cabin is also more spacious than the previous model, but its back seat still lacks sufficient legroom to keep adults comfortable on long slogs. We managed to fit six carry-on suitcases in the cargo area and another 12 bags with the rear seats folded. Those are both less than we fit in the X1 but on par with the Jaguar E-Pace. Infotainment and Connectivity Audi equips most Q3 models with an 8.8-inch touchscreen MMI infotainment system that features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A larger 10.1-inch touchscreen is also available with the same content. We found the interface to be attractive and mostly easy to operate due to its large icons and haptic feedback. However, its low position on the dashboard can be distracting. Top options include Sirius XM satellite radio, wireless charging, and a 15-speaker, 680 watt Sonos stereo system. Stay tuned to Auto RBX for all the latest, and let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.